Uh, well, we are still discussing Gale's numbers and Varinder who tracks the company is with us. So, doesn't look like good set of numbers. Well, clearly, you know, Gino, and blame it on petrochemical segment, you know. Uh, you know, people were expecting that this quarter may be better for the company because, uh, you know, if you just see the gas prices, you know, they were, which is an input for the company, it was very high li last time, you know, and the gas prices have been coming down. So, people expected, you know, the company may do good this time. Also, you know, uh, petrochemical segment, which was the weakest, you know, if you just see the last quarter, uh, because crude was at $52 per barrel, you know, on an average l last quarter. So even there was expectation that, you know, Gale might do good. But look at the numbers, you know, you have pointed it out, you know, that uh, profit of nearly 424 crores versus, you know, an expectation of nearly 684 crores on that side. A bit of nearly 1,042 crores, people were expecting on an average nearly 1,171 crores. And look at the segmental, you know, as I said, petrochemicals is the one to blame out for. If you just see the uh, revenues for petrochemical segment, they are down 40 eight percent quarter and quarter and on a bit level petrochemical has actually made a loss of nearly 300 crores i will not be surprised that this is one of the highest what uh, uh, you know th this segment has seen uh, you know just to compare the numbers last quarter sequentially there was a profit of 125 crores even last year you know there was a loss of only 154 crores so this time petrochemical has come at a loss of nearly 300 crores which is just massive you know even you know if you have to account for any other numbers uh, lpg uh, and liquid hydrocarbon segment we have seen a fall of 26% on, on, on sales and even if you have to see the EBIT on, on LPG you know, and liquid hydrocarbon, there is an EBIT downfall of nearly 44% at nearly 276 crores. Mm. That is a big one. The only saviour if you have to say, if you just see the natural gas marketing, you know, we have seen a profit of nearly 342 crores, as I said, which was expected because the gas price is coming down. Mm. And there we have seen some profit coming in. Uh, there was a sequential loss of 35 crores last time. But clearly, petrochemicals, LPG, and mind you, this is not a cheap stock by any standards. You know, yeah, I was going to ask you that. I mean, uh, given that it's already fallen 17%, uh, do you think that the fall could be restricted? Uh, no, no, no. I, I clearly think, you know, 47,000 crores market cap. Company doing uh, did a profit of nearly 400 crores this quarter. You know, even you have to go by the best of the, you know, estimates, you know, even the company reports around 2,000 crores of profit in the full year. On a trailing basis, you know, it's trading around 21, 22 times, which is not cheap. And considering that the problems are still not over yeah. for Gale, you know, and also watch out for Petronet LNG tomorrow, you know, when the market opens up, you know, along with Gale. Yes, indeed. That's the fun bit with commodity stocks. It's uh, more expensive at 370 than it was at 500. <laughs> uh, that's how commodities work. But uh, that's Gale expect a negative reaction tomorrow. As we wrap up on this edition of Closing Bell, let's take a look at how our participants have fared on day four of Bullseye. And after that, after the bell, we'll take all the action forward.